Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to be here in between most important, most prominent experts who inspire also me. I would like to present the medieval kitchen garden of Tsai's castle and its development. Starting from the analysis of pollen to natural circulation management and cherishing of inherited crop seeds. Speaking about resources, in order to develop the understanding of the visitors of the Tessis Museum about the medieval castle with a bustling farm, in the spring of 2015, the first nine beds were made in the exposition of the future kitchen garden. It's assumed that in the spacious suburb courtyard of Tess Castle in the Middle Ages, there was a garden that provided fresh vegetables, greens, as well as medical and household plants for the needs of the kitchen. To begin with, a study of the available literature was carried out on the principles of medieval nutrition and plants corresponding to the region, as well as the composition of the soil, proportions of paths, tools, and fences. For visual ex appearance, examples were found in medieval illustrations. In the end, the medieval kitchen garden of Tess Castle is not a reconstruction according to any particular image. Even before the creation of the kitchen garden in 2011, an international project was implemented, Ecology of the Crusades, to find out what the environment was like in Cesis Castle. For archaeological research, soil samples were obtained in several places, as well as for comparison, samples from the natural environments, namely from a swamp about three kilometers from Cesis. Detailed pollen and seed analysis resulted in a list of crops, weeds, meadows, forest plants that formed the medieval landscape in Cesis. Such studies have been carried out in several parcels and cities of the Livonian order. In order to obtain the optimal number of garden plant species lost, used in the Middle Ages, data from medieval trade documents on the sale of seeds, as well as lists of products provided for festivities was used. For the exposition of plants in the medieval kitchen garden, seeds and seedlings of historical crops were searched in private collections of the inhabitants of Cersis and also in the surrounding area in the wild in former homes and ruins uh, of the Livonian period. Many of the Livon exhibits, exhibits were found within the city limits obtained in eco school gardens, seedling markets, as well as seed exchange events. The collection of the kitchen garden was also supplemented with its own stocks by specialists of the Salisbury's National Botanical Garden. Since 2015, the plant exposition has increased from 25 to 65 varieties. Speaking about challenges and experience, when uh, making the medieval kitchen garden, it was necessary to take into account that there was no research literature on agronomy and cultivation in the Middle Ages, specifically in the Baltic region, where the climate is different from that of Central Europe. The garden exposition is more of an experiment. The ideas of the high hollow and permaculture, which are experiencing a revival in the 21st century, correspond only partially to medieval farming. Principles are similar, but the composition, environment, management options are different. The challenge is to create the appropriate soil composition in the middle of the city to create an equivalent to the medieval situation, when not only green mass from the garden was used for composting, but also economic leftovers from artisan workshops, beer, brew house, kitchen, organic material from stables, cleaning ponds, or protective ditches. In order to manage for, to work fully biologically without the use of the 21st century uh, plant stimulation or pest control agents, it's necessary to provide high quality fire food, f firewood ash, look for and plant nettles and uh, celandine for drug fermentations. The high or elevated hollows forgotten 
uh, for many uh, have many advantages. Those beds take up little space. Less than the same amount of plants would be in the flat beds. Everything can be sown and planted most more densely because there are enough nutrients. The roots of plants freely penetrate the soil. Sprouted plants cover the hollow well and weeds are much less there are much less weeds so little work is needed and it's possible to work immediately after the rain it's been experimentally proven that when mulching with straw weeding can be further avoided the need for frequent watering is reduced Soil retains moisture and looseness. Hollows should be dug or dug mostly in the, on only in the spring or in, in the fall when the harvest should be collected. For nine seasons, there was an opportunity to make sure that the geometry of the medieval garden was convenient and practical. The length of a bed is about 14 feet, and the width depends on the length of the gardener's arm. It's important that from both sides, it can be, com it can be comfortable to reach the middle part, so about 1.3 meters. The width of the path enough for two gardeners to Pass so that buckets, baskets, tools can be placed there. Finding seed material or planting material suitable for Vizema conditions presents certain difficulties. There are no reports that in the 16th century glass coverings were already used, glass bales for rushing plants. There is a search for suitable herbs, vegetables, and medical plants that can be sown immediately in a bed. So plants that do not have a long vegetation period or a, are able to hibernate. For part of the co collection, seedlings are, seedlings are grown outside the territory of the castle. In Thesis, uh, there are frequent May and June frosts. Already at the end of August, uh, nights can be quite cold. And uh, in the beginning of September, there is white grass in the garden. However, in the middle of the old town of Thesis, uh, the climate is milder and plants are protected by the castle walls. Unless the vegetation is interrupted by extreme frosts at the end of September, the garden will be partially green until November. High beds are suitable for frost-resistant and Mediterranean plants, which have a longer vegetation period. The warmth and height of the decaying substances ensure better conditions in early spring. Everything uh, sprouts faster, and it also prolongs the growing season in autumn, when first frosts are possible. For most plants, development is possible if the temperature is above plus 6 degrees. When uh, uh, making a medieval garden, one should take into account that this is a complex farm. It's just a couple of beds in the empty area of the suburb. There is a fence around the garden. There is also a place for compost, barrels with herbal ferments, barrels with water, tools, and much more. When constructing the edges for the high beds, three different different materials were tried. Hazel layer braid is the easiest resource available, and it can stand for five seasons. Possibly, if uh, these were peeled, the duration of use would be extended. Spruce branches are more durable, uh, and the resin acts as preservative, but the branches must be entangled immediately after felling while they are flexible. The curves of thick scissored boards will last longest, the inside of which uh, is burnt. Surprises and discoveries. When creating an exposition or historical landscape, care must be taken about crop rotation, about plant compatibility. Therefore, it's not possible to follow the boundaries for each species. The garden with bright accents is decorated with plants and nomads that sow in all the beds. It has a significant benefit because it attracts pollinating insects. The list of detected pollen includes weeds, uh, characteristic for acti active economic activity and soil with high content of organic matter. The same is formed today when reconstructing the garden. 
The list of plants found in the garden is supplemented by weeds, the seeds of which have been introduced with horse manure. In a similar way, a creeping retort grow, grows in all the beds, as yet an unspecified variety. In the spring, there is a not very pleasant surprise. Those are seedlings from surrounding trees. The seedling millions can only be destroyed by careful weeding. The garden is used as a suitable medium by several species of snails. For, for example, garden grapevine, black-headed mollusk. The giant bald snail, Limax maximus, is well involved in the biological chain of the living creatures in the garden. So this is this hero you see down here. Unpredictable is the action of birds and insects, as well as wild and or domestic um, animals who are usually interested in the garden. Surprises in the garden and in the territory also have research benefit because finding previously unnoticed species of plants, fungi, insects, mollusks uh, leads to good cooperation with nature experts. It can be assumed that the garden was not only for cultivation of uh, vegetables, but also a place for obtaining quality seeds. The list of pollen analyses includes two garden plants, turnips and black mustard. In order to obtain a sufficient volume of mustard seeds for spices or an, as an additive food, they should grow in a larger area. It's unlikely that mustard was the only plant in the garden. Most likely it was slightly sown for obtaining quality seeds. Uh, there are also problems with this plant, and it's not easy to grow it. A similar question is also raised about the detected turnip pollen. Since uh, these root crops are usually grown in large areas, it is known that flowering occurs and seeds develop only in the second year. Of course, unforeseen unforeseen weather effects are possible when it is hot in May, like today, and turnips sound in April sprout, but do not dig into the underground part. About achievements, the mission of the garden is not only to experimentally imitate farming in the 16th century, but also to educate by demonstrating all the farming processes, starting from compost preparation to the construction of high beds, as well as pest control, preparation of ferments, use of tools, collection of seeds. During nine seasons, the idea of a kitchen garden exposition has proven viable. Public interest is growing every year, and travelers share stories about their high beds, permaculture methods, watch ideas for their dream garden, and promise that they will have one. Gardening is an area on which almost everyone has an opinion. At a fence, conversations uh, are steering. There is a lively exchange of ideas and thoughts because the high beds are, present a topic for discussion. Gardening helps to understand the history easier, to understand the lifestyle and traditions of the previous centuries. It also changes the stereotypes regarding the medieval Middle Ages. The garden of the medieval castle in Cesis is an experiment where every work and process uh, performed on daily basis is visible and transparent to everyone. From early spring to late autumn, visitors can observe the development of the garden and soil preparation or any other processes in the garden. Every autumn, seeds are collected. They are sorted, dried, and preserved for the next two or three seasons. Since 2016, by participating in the Seed Cherishers movement, the collection has been increasing, and interested, interested people can get seeds from the historical crops in Cesis Palace Garden. Speaking about conclusions or insights, the garden and its surrounding ecosystem are much more fragile than the forest. Uh, 
In the garden, each season is different. Annual biennial plants depend not only on care, feeding, but most of all on precipitation and temperature. Although seemingly indirectly, the garden is influenced by events in, in its vicinity. For example, archaeological excavations, restoration, construction, land reclamation, and other activities which uh, clear from gaps or, uh, gaps or extract from the deepest layers of soil any new seeds again. From time to time, new weeds appear. For a garden, which is collection and live exposition of historical crops, new plant plantings formed near it using untested imported ornamental plants uh, and seedlings are dangerous. It's always necessary to take into account visitors to the castle and territory, participants who unknowingly bring seeds of invasive plants. For instance, bio with live event decorations or seedling markets. Active activity disturbs the birds and insects living in the walls, fences, stone ridges. It reduces the amount of hiding places and places of residence. The cutting down of surrounding trees and shrubs, removal of, removal of, of rotten trees. This also affects the natural environment. Uh, this also interrupts uh, the eco-corridor connection with the park and, or forest. Due to this reason, artificial nesting sites and places for refu refuge for both birds have been created in the territory of the castle. Uh, they protect the garden from pests and provide natural balance. The development of the garden has not entered the calm phase yet. Every season it looks different. Uh, following the crop rotation, the plant composition is changed in the beds. The newly acquired varieties are first sown and tested outside the castle garden, and only after a year of to um, they go go into the public collection. In preparation for the next, the tenth season, it is planned to change to replace the fence, to change the place of hops. Another patient and long-term experiment has begun by creating a meadow next to the garden. Seeds are collected by hand. The mixture is, sh is sown in lean soil. Every season, there is a different thematic offer for visitors. You can learn about gardening in the Middle Ages in face-to-face -face and uh, remote uh, lectures. Several communication channels are used, and uh, social networks have proven to be the most effective. Thank you for your attention.